For a shark attack victim, Colin Rowland looks a happy man. And why not? Arriving in hospital with a smile and a thumbs up. Despite the severe slashes on his feet and holes in his arm from the teeth of a white pointer. He's taken a chunk out of the surfboard and also grabbed his leg rope and dragged him under the water. So, you know, all in all, he's a very lucky man. The great bite out of Colin's surfboard is testament to the ferocity of the attack. I just saw Cole, me mate, just get launched out of the water about three or four feet in a big cloud of uh, water. The terror in his eyes was unbelievable and then he, he got knocked again and then his board just shattered into a few pieces. He needs a new surfboard, there's no doubt about that. Colin had been relishing his early morning surf at Booty Booty, south of Foster. A long-time surfer, what he'd spent his life trying to avoid, suddenly caught up with him. He said it was definitely a white shark and he also said he'd been in the water for 54 years and that was the first time he'd, uh, he'd come across a shark. It was bigger than him, that's all he said, he said it was bigger than me. There were only a few other surfers out on their boards, it could have been any of them. Pretty crazy, very thankful that it wasn't me. In almost every shark attack, there also seems to be a hero. A nearby surfer assisted the, the male and got him onto his own board then brought him back into shore. This guy was just a hero, he, uh, he got over to Cole because he was real close and got him his board. I just helped him out of the water and we armchaired Cole up to uh, the showers of bull paddock. But today's hero is still a mystery man, helping Colin then driving off. Beaches along that coastal strip have been closed. A shark spotting drone will operate over the weekend. And the state government will roll out five so-called smart drum lines tomorrow. This is what is surely bringing sharks closer to our central and north coast beaches right now. Schools of salmon, always a magnet for marine predators. For Colin, those few seconds this morning must have been a nightmare. But he lived to laugh it off. And Damien joins me now from John Hunter Hospital in Newcastle. Damien, how's Colin going tonight? Well, Pete, he's undergone surgery this afternoon, patching up those sizeable wounds, and it's anticipated he'll be probably out of hospital in the next day or so. Now, we spoke to Colin earlier on the, in the day and on the phone, and he obviously was clearly shaken up, but he was already eyeing off, it seems, a new surfboard and a wetsuit.